God, what the heck happened? And we've been waiting here for 30 minutes. Yeah, you see, I had to do another funeral, and that was about 15 minutes ago, and uh, my car broke down, and I had to run all the way over here. It's a funeral. Yep, and you were doing another funeral. Yep, can you just get someone else to do it? Yeah, but it's someone that you hate. Who? Okay, um... Uh... Uh... There's one itsy bitsy problem. Yeah. There's no casket back there. Nor is there a body at all. What? Okay, so, my workers and them, they all have to, um, go and get the casket, which apparently they didn't do before. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you, Mike and Bob. Uh, hey, Bob. What? Mike, I'm trying to sleep. Um, you know... I keep on hearing that the boss is, like, calling us. You're hearing things, you moron. Now let me go back to sleep. And while they go and get a casket, you have to go and retrieve the giant's body. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. You know, we have Watersons to go and capture... They're probably just going to be gone then. Okay, so, this episode is going to be meeting more of the Watersons, and also retrieving the body. The funeral will happen at the end of the season. Don't talk like you're chilled, the 3 a.m. YouTuber. Okay, I'm sorry. Just sounded cool, so I thought I might... It's not cool. Okay. Now, um... Now, chop chop. I have some comic reading to get to. Oh yeah, you're gonna be reading about Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. Hashtag not scripted. <laughs> Such a funny comic. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. Ring ring ring. Come on, you moron. Pick up. Yo. Hey, so we have an itsy bitsy problem. In our small hotel, yeah, we're, we are walking to go and get him. Wow, I want to know when I asked. Don't be such a joke about it. But we went back over to the hotel that we were staying at, and we tried to get into the room, but they said that we needed a key. We said that we used to go there, so then they gave us the key. So then we went in to go and find him, but then it was just, there was just nothing there. And we went to go and ask the workers there, and they said that, that they had to clean up the whole entire room, because, um, but they said that while cleaning... Like, after, after we gave them the key back, they said that after cleaning, they did not see any signs of a body. So, I think that the giant might still be alive. Are you saying I ran ten minutes to a freaking funeral? And then there was no body? And then after you went to go and retrieve it, the body was gone? I hate those morons. Rude. Okay, so I just got off the phone. With odd ones out. Turns out that... Um, he's mad at us now. Why? Oh, that's right! You guys weren't with me in the hotel whenever I went looking. Well, you went back to the hotel? 
Yeah. Um, you guys weren't in there whenever I was talking to the odd ones out in the funeral home. He said the, <clears throat> that while his friends go and get the casket, we had to go and retrieve the giant's body. But, I went back into the hotel room to go and find it, and there was no sign of a body. Uh, I asked the hotel manager if, when they were cleaning up our room, if they had seen a body. They said that there was nothing there. I think that the giant might have still been alive and that he just got knocked out or or if it was like maybe a concussion. Wait, so are you saying that Optimus's fat butt did not kill the giant? No. Oh, thank God. Yeah, but we have one problem. We don't know if that concussion made him evil because... Before our YouTube channel was even a thing, we had something about concussions. Like what? Yeah, like what? I don't think I was around then. I wasn't friends with anybody. This was back before I was a... Like, right before I was a teenager. When I started, when I started getting in trouble with the police. What? Whatever. Let me just tell you the, st the story. I was best friends with Garfield the cat. The following conversation goes as follows. Dude, the longer you get in trouble with the police, the longer your prison sentence is going to be. I know, but I just can't help myself, man. Yeah, I get that, but still. You're going to be going to prison for a long time if you continue this. I know, but... <clears throat> Little bro. He's uh, out somewhere with Dave. I lost my mother. My dad ran off with Little bro and my mother's dead corpse. Garfield gave me gave me a look and said and said, "When you go and retrieve the little bro from wherever he's at, mind if I come with you? Might need a hand. No. If I get in trouble with the police, the little bro will know it's so for a good cause. How old is the little bro again? He'll be one year in a month." He'll be one. He'll, he'll be turning one in a month, so he's not gonna remember any single memory of you. He's just gonna think you're some random guy out there on the streets. I know, but once I show him some memory pictures, he'll know exactly who I am. Hope so. Wait, I thought you said that I wasn't around then. Yeah, you wasn't around when this happened. Not. I only said wasn't around. I never said born. And then this is the thing that happened that would change our friendship forever. So, you want to come over to my house this weekend? Yeah, sure. <gasps> Garfield! Huh? Holy crap! Ugh. Are you okay? Who the heck are you? I'm your best friend. Raccoon dude. But there's a part back then. Raccoon dude is just my nickname. And I just told everybody, call me Raccoon dude. My real name is to be continued.